In the midst of it all, a government tax, a burden journey, no room in the inn. In the midst of it all, each single life, here and now, walks the hard pavement of ordinary life. But somewhere in the night, the desert night of long ago, or this daily life here and now, a warming kiss, a soft embrace, a lighted window, a stable place. In the midst of it all, a hard-won labor, grace is born in fleshy groans. The baby cries his birthday song as angels weep and declare glory. Love has come to each and every one of us. No matter who you are or what you believe, love has come. And you will receive this love no matter the path you walk. This love is for you. Love has come in newborn grace. Love has come for all. Amen. Good morning and Merry Christmas, Stone Village. I hope that all of you are well and safe in this world. All is well in my world. The reading this morning is from Luke chapter 2, verse 15 through 20. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary, she treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. The carols of Christmas Eve have fallen silent. The candlelight of Christmas Eve has given way to the dawn of Christmas Day. That sounds a lot like the second half of Luke's Christmas story, which I just read. The multitude of heavenly hosts praising God have become silent. The angels have left and returned to heaven. The glory of the Lord is no longer shining on the shepherds. In fact, the shepherds have gone back to their fields and their flocks. We are left with Mary, Joseph, and the child lying in the manger. They say nothing. There is only silence on this day. Honestly, everything that needs to be said has already been said. I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. So, this is a time, as Mary knows, to treasure and ponder. It is a time to move from the event of Christmas to the meaning of Christmas, the reality of God with us. Treasuring and pondering are internal works. God with us is not a question to be answered or a concept to be explained but rather a truth to be lived. And that lived truth begins with walking away from the manger, as the shepherds did in today's reading. You see, before Christmas, they were shepherds, and after Christmas, they are shepherds. Before Christmas, they were living in the fields, and after Christmas, they are living in the fields. Before Christmas, they were watching over their flock, and after Christmas, you guessed it, they are watching over their flock. The good news was announced to the shepherds in their fields and among their flock, and that is where the good news will be lived. Christmas always returns us 
to the fields of our life. The ordinary and routine, the joys and the sorrows, the familiar rhythms of life and relationships, the daily work and worries. Christmas is not an escape from life. In fact, it is a deepening of all life and creation, the joining together of heaven and earth, divinity and humanity, spirit and matter. Like the shepherds, we must also now leave the nativity, the event of Christmas, and return to the fields of our life. That is where we will treasure and ponder the cradle of God in our own life. That is where we will discover God's embodiment of our humanity and begin the work to live into God's love for us. So take one last look and then return to the fields of your life. I promise you, God will meet you there. In the name of the Christ child, amen. I pray this day you bear witness to the love of God in this world. Bear witness to the love of God so those to whom love is a stranger, they will find in you a generous and loving friend. In the name of the Christ child and in the power of the Holy Spirit, amen. I love you, Stoners. Merry Christmas again. And I will see you <clears throat> in a couple weeks. Bye.